This video will briefly show you how to manage and create folders and files on your Mac computer. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a folder. So for instance, if I wanted to create a folder here on my desktop, I would simply go up to the finder bar, click file, and then click new folder. This automatically creates a new folder. You can then type in the name of the folder. And when you're done typing, hit enter. If you later decide that you want to um, change the name of the folder, you just have to click on the name once and it will allow you to edit it. Once your folder is created, to put documents into it, you'll see that I have five test documents here. And you can just drag and drop them into the folder. If you want to move multiple documents at one time, you can either highlight them by holding down on your mouse and highlighting them like this, or you can even click on them and then hit your command button and hold it down while you're clicking on the others to select all of the files. Once all of your files are moved to your folder, you can open it by double clicking on the folder and all of your documents will be there. You can do the same process in any of the um, folders over here. So for instance, if I wanted to create a folder in my documents, I would just do the same thing. I click on documents, go to my finder bar, click file, new folder, and one would appear. Just as I did on my desktop, I can now simply drag and drop them into my folder. Again, you can select multiples by holding down on the command button and choosing your documents. Another shortcut, if you have a lot of documents in a row like I have here, you can click the top one, then hit shift on your keyboard and hold it down and click the bottom one and it will select all of the documents in between. And again, you can drag and drop. To open the folder, just double click. You can also drag and drop folders that are located in different places together. So for instance, this test folder is in my documents and let's say that I wanted to move one of the documents onto my desktop. It's the same exact process regardless. You just take it, drag it, and drop it. You can also drag whole folders. So if I wanted to put this whole test folder into the other one, I could simply drag and drop. In order to get back to your main documents tab, you can simply use the back arrows here. You can also organize your files by clicking here if you want them in alphabetical order, if you want them in the order that they were modified and the date that they were last opened, all you have to do is click on the header to organize them how you would like to. I'm now going to go back to my documents folder. Now let's say that I wanted to create a new document and I wanted to save it to the test folder so I didn't have to drag and drop it later. Um, if you have a test document, I'm going to use Word here as my example. All you have to do is say file, save, or save as works too, and then it asks you where you want to save it. I do want to save it in my documents, but I want to save it specifically in this test folder here. So what I'm going to do is click on this downward carrot and it will actually allow you to pick exactly where you would like to save it. So I'm going to choose test folder and I'll name it Stephanie's document and click save. Now when I open up my test folder, you'll see Stephanie's document right there. Hopefully this video provided you with a brief overview of organizing your files and folders on your Mac computer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.